Properly installing disconnects is a simple task when done properly. Let's cover how to create a disconnectable electrical connection. We'll start by gathering the materials we'll need. We'll be using 14 gauge wire, heat shrink disconnects, a compact wire stripper, a crimping tool, and a heat tool. The first step is to measure the wires to the proper length and then cut them using the compact wire stripper. Next, we'll remove the correct amount of insulation based on the depth of the terminal. Our compact wire stripper is built for longevity. It offers multiple cut nests to handle a wide range of wire sizes. It also has a tapered plier nose that can be used to bend, twist, grab, or pull. Lastly, this tool offers a sharp cutting blade ideal for cutting solid and stranded wires as large as 10 gauge. With our wires cut and stripped to the correct length, we'll line up the disconnect terminal with the proper crimp nest. You'll notice that this tool offers colored dots at the mouth to make finding the right crimp nest easier. Now, we'll insert the wire into the disconnect body, making sure the insulation butts up to the barrel of the disconnect. By closing the tool, we have completed the ratcheting cycle and successfully crimped the disconnect. This tool offers five separate crimp nests and works with wires ranging from 22 gauge to 10 gauge. It also offers ratcheting action, which reduces operator fatigue. To ensure a solid connection, perform a tug test by gently pulling from both sides of the connection point, paying careful attention for any movement or give. Since it didn't move, we know this connection point is solid. With the disconnect properly installed, we'll move on to activating the heat shrink, keeping the heat gun at a safe distance and moving back and forth in a slow, consistent manner. This heat tool is compact and lightweight and can reach temperatures of up to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. There you have it. We've successfully created a disconnectable electrical connection that can handle the toughest conditions out there. Remember, epoxy lined heat shrink should be used in marine environments to create an environmentally sealed connection. You can find the wire, disconnects, and tools you've seen here at pacergroup.net.